welcome to you. My name's Dale and this is Dale's Addiction. I am super, super excited to share with you today's unboxing. I said I was shopping intentionally this year and I feel like I have been. I am still opportunistic though and this purchase, this bag, this very special bag was very opportunistic and I cannot believe it's in my possession. I have unboxed it already because I needed to check it over before, I just needed to check it over because it's a big deal. Um, and I think it makes everything else make sense that's happened so far this year. If you're not following me, um, please check out the bags that I have sold and selling video. I will put the thumbnail here and link it in the description box below. At the time of filming, the Fendi and Just Like That pink sequin baguette is still available, as is the white peekaboo. So if you're interested in those, go find Connor at Conrad's Closet on Instagram and um, yeah, ask him for information about them. So, I was scrolling Instagram. How many times do you hear that on an unboxing video? I was scrolling Instagram, a very dangerous thing to do. And I just took a pause. I, I actually went past it and I came back. And um, apologies for the dogs barking. I'm just... I'm in a zone at the moment and I need to tell them to shut up but I also just want to I just need to get this out just a moment okay I scroll back I scroll back because I thought I saw something I did see it I looked at the one picture the one picture for a long long time and then without so much as telling a soul I asked the consigner, Australian consignment business called the Emir, for more pictures, which they promptly sent me. I was actually on my way that morning to go and pick up my lizard petite mouth. Exhibit A. And so this was a very, very important purchase, a very special purchase. I'll link the unboxing above and down in the description box. Very, very special and important. And I'm thinking, why, Dale, are you even looking if you're in love with this bag? You know, like you know you're in love with somebody when you don't look around. Well, I am not monogamous with my handbags, right? <laughs> And I was just thinking, thinking, thinking about it. And so when I saw Connor and Nadia, I said, oh, listen, I need to show you guys something. I'm thinking about this and they're like, wow, wow, wow. The price was something, with this one, it made me shudder. With the one I'm about to show you, it filled me with glee. Because the list price, was like $21,000 cheaper than this bag sells for. So what's wrong with it? So I get some advice from them. They're like, it's amazing. It's beautiful. It's so you. Perhaps you should ask for a video of the bag so you can have a closer look. I sent it to my friend Eileen. I'm like, hey, um, look what I found. <laughs> because she just picked up a beautiful pre-loved Birkin. Spilled. And uh, yeah, we were we were all kind of, and she was like, "Oh, have a look at this, have a look at that." Zoom in here, zoom in there. So then I I asked for more video. I got the video on Easter Monday, and once I got the video, I sent it to said peoples again. And I I don't know what I was doing. I think I was just looking for approval I told my husband I said listen I'm glad I'm selling those extra bags because I think I found something and um, once I got the video and I looked everything over I'm just like yeah uh, yes I'm gonna take it 
So I was able to buy online on their website and I wanted to do that because I wanted my Amex points. <laughs> so I'm just like, I could do bank transfer, but I'm not going to get points that way. So I paid a little extra in the surcharge, but I got the points and I think the points are worth it for a purchase of this capacity. So I purchased the bag on the website. I DM'd the EMEA, let them know that I had purchased the bag. They contacted me and they do a credit card verification online. So you FaceTime or Instagram video call and check your ID and your credit card. And then they shipped it to me and now I am sharing it with you. So let's do the thing that we do where we say, if you have any guesses about what I got, pop them in the comment box down below. But I don't think anyone's gonna guess this. I don't think they will. Okay. One thing about me and buying pre-loved is I rarely buy anything that's not full set. I don't like vintage, smelly, used, poor condition pieces. The only vintage bag I bought, which is what I've been wearing today, which is one of my absolute favorites, is my Raffia baguette from, let's just say it's between 97 and 2005. Um, but this was in beautiful, clean, absolutely schmick condition with the dust bag. So that's as close to full set as you're going to get for a bag that's that old. So the fact that this bag had all of the things was a big deal, including the original receipt. So I feel like I should pop in the unboxing I did before so that you can see how I kind of received it and the stages that I unpacked it in and then I will reveal it to you. Okay, cut to unboxing footage here. Okay, I feel a little bit nervous. Let's do this. I've not bought from here before. What could it be? A little message at the bottom of the box and my receipt in a little folder, which is very nice. Gotta say I love the clean packaging, not reusing bubble wrap and the like. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, more bubble wrap. Okay. Oh, we've got all of our deets in the bottom here. This bag sold for $29,900. That is not what I paid. Okay, let's do a little sneaky peek. <laughs> Upside down, Miss Jane. May I present to you a bag I never, ever, ever, ever thought I would ever, ever have, ever in a material particularly. Not the bag, but the material. In fact, I've had the bag. Does that help? Does that help with the guessing? May I present to you the newest peekaboo in my collection. It is <laughs> a fuchsia crocodile mini peekaboo and yes I've left the strap on it because I have been trying it on I don't know if this is coming up as the correct color for you but I'm going to throw in some pictures so that you can see the color in its truest form but it is called fuchsia and it is it is the most blue purpley pink it is so cool um I'm just going to pop this Fendi baguette next to it so it looks pinker than this does and this is fuchsia that's interesting so here is my galusha yeah so these are like a little more I'm gonna say dark this is more a true pink anyway regardless of what it is it is glorious um, this bag is in 9.8 out of 10 condition. Let me show you close up. Look at those beautiful, beautiful scales. It's got gorgeous gold hardware. The finish on it is just insane. 
and I'm leaving the strap on because um, you know I'm gonna wear it <laughs> these little sangles on the sides I'm gonna open those up and I'll open the turn lock inside of the bag it's like a soft goat leather it is insanely soft it's so so beautiful this bag was purchased look at the look at the bar there with the crocodile on it insane this bag was purchased back in 2017 from the Fendi concession at our David Jones department store here in Australia for the grand sum of $29,900 is it just like the story about the luxury cars that depreciate as soon as you drive them out of the show yard? Because I picked it up for eight. Eight thousand dollars. Australian. Now look at this. Look how squishy this is. There are no feet on the bottom, but the bottom is in absolutely gorgeous condition. The whole bag is just insane. I'm going to um, put some mod shots up, but the other thing I like about this one, it has a really thin strap. I didn't think I'd like that, but I actually do because it makes it look a lot more dainty. This bag has 12 adjustments on the strap. I've got it set on on the 7th, so I still have five more, and I'm 166 centimeters. So when I pop in the mod shots over here, you can see me wearing it crossbody. If you're a tall gal, this bag has got capacity for you, and I think you know a seven foot person could wear this bag crossbody I really really do it is just like I mean I've talked I've sung the blessings of the peekaboo in the past but never did I ever think that I would have a crocodile peekaboo for a, a decent price in a bag style I loved um, that I felt like I could wear like I feel like I can really wear this bag because it's in a colorway. It's just not showing true to true to color there. It's way more blue. I wonder if I close these shutters, if it will. Now it looks red. You're just gonna have to trust me. I'm gonna I'm gonna put some I'm gonna put some stills up there, but no, oh, maybe that's better. It's a really bluey pinky purple it's a true I think it's magenta not fuchsia but anyway they've called it fuchsia um I just never thought that I would have something like this in my collection I think it's glorious this is one of the colors that works in my wardrobe so well it really wasn't a favorite of mine but in the last couple of years I've bought a lot of pink bags I've got that um Jimmy Choo one that's just hanging there with the fringe I had the pink baguette um, in the sequins, which I am selling at the moment. So that's what? One, two, three, four. Four in my collection currently, plus a little mini Fendi first. And then I've got some other, you know, like lighter pink bags. So I have been experimenting with these dual tones. Look out, Amelia Rose. I'm coming for you. I'm definitely just loving this fuchsia magenta color for me not all pinks are created equal i like this kind of pink and i like really pretty purpley kind of lilac -y pinks as well and that powder pink that valentino does um but i i am just i cannot believe that i have this bag i can't i i love the capucines but i think it's too formal for me for a bag like this um, because it's so structured it doesn't like squish and bend and move and I think one of the beautiful things about crocodile um, and I know this because my dad's got a couple of crocodile bits like a belt and um, and a hat band sounds like crocodile Dundee doesn't he <laughs> um, is that it wears over time and it gets really soft and malleable and beautiful and peekaboos just wear beautifully over time and so um, yeah I'm just I can't ooh, can't believe I've got it so in the space of a week I've picked up these two extraordinary extraordinary beauties in my collection I mean Meredith started this with um with buying a few exotics this year and I did not expect to follow suit but be careful when you're scrolling Instagram because you never know what is going to pop up in your feed 
Now these bags, they fit so much in them. I thought that I might finish this video by showing you what I've got in this baguette and how it goes into this so that, um, you know, if you're considering this bag, um, you know what fits inside. A few people have been asking me, so because I'm selling the white bag, of course. So I have got my Louis Vuitton six ring key holder, an oldie but goodie in the epi leather, and I've got all my keys on there. This is my favorite because it has the little slip in the back where you can put like security access cards and the like. I'll put that in the back of the bag because I really don't need to use that once I leave the house. I've got my Celine sunglasses that I need to replace, but I'll pop them in the front pocket. I've got my new iPhone 15 in the white titanium, which is good. I have my Hermes Calvi Duo in the gorgeous, what is this color called? Mauve Pale. Um, so again, if I put that up against the bag, you can see that it's very, very pale mauve. I'll pop that in the back pocket as well. I've got my beautiful Galusha card holder that Connor got me from Paris. I'll pop that in the back as well. I've got my car fob, but it's keyless entry, so that can go in the back as well. I put all the things that are super valuable to me in the back of the bag so that they're right up against my body and I close off the back of the bag. I've got my Tom Ford Soleil Lip Blush. Put some of that on. I love this. I actually love this more than the Dior Lip Glow. It's got these little gold flecks in it because it lasts longer. And the packaging, right? So that can go in the front. Uh, I've got my AirPods Pro 2 in the front. I've got this little OPI Pro Spa Nail and Cuticle Oil, which I've been using to bring the strength back into my nails. That can go in the front. And I've got my Dale's Addiction handbag hook because this baby doesn't have feet and we want her to be safe at all times. So I will pop one of those in as well. I might need to get um, a uh, handbag organizer for this one. So that can go in the front too. So let me just show you in the back pocket, still heaps of room really, but how heavy do you want the bag to be? And in the front pocket, still heaps of room. So we'll close that up. La di da. And yeah, she's just a girl about town. This bag, it is so, so easy. It fits a lot. And this bag fits a lot as well. This, it just, it feels so good with things in it. Like, it just, look at, look at how she sings when she's got a bit of, like, stuff in it. It's so, oh, it's like the ultimate in sophistication, but undoneness. And I think that this one's got a chance of doing a little smile for us. I think I'm going to, I'm going to help her to do some smiling. And like, you'll be like, oh, don't do that, Dale, don't do that. I'm like, I want to do it. I think they look great like that. So yeah. And then you've always got the option if you're a buttoned up girly to turn the twist lock, close the little sangles at the side and I'll just do it. A make do option version here. And it's very, very put together. You could wear it as an evening bag. You could wear it as a casual day bag. I just think, yeah, this brings back my love for, not that I lost the love for the peekaboo, but I did lose the love for my white one because it was white. <laughs> anyway, I bet you didn't guess that that was coming. So, um, yeah, what do you think? <laughs> I love it. Um, I'm so happy to be able to share it with you. I can't wait to see what you think of it. Um, please give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'd love to see you back for my next video, typically Wednesdays or Sundays or whenever I feel like uploading. So if you hit the bell, that's gonna tell you when I pop a video up. Um, oh, I just can't stop touching it. <laughs> For me, texture is everything, and this has it in spades, and it's such a great buy. Um, yeah, okay.
I'm, I'm gonna go and play with this. Okay, bye, ciao. Mm -hmm.